Creating a sales invoice. A sales invoice is a document sent to your customers detailing what they have purchased, how much they owe and when their payment is due. When you create an invoice in Sage Accounting, you can email this directly to your customer or print them. Before you create your first invoice, you need to enter your business details and check your VAT settings. To check your business address details, go to Settings, Business Settings, and then click About Your Business. Edit any incorrect details here and click Save. Then to check your VAT settings, within Business Settings, select Accounting Dates and VAT. If you are unsure which VAT scheme is applicable to your business, select this icon for more help. You can also check your VAT scheme with your accountant or HMRC. You are now ready to create a sales invoice. To do this, hover over Sales and click Sales Invoices. Here you'll see a list of any current invoices. To create a new one, select New Invoice. Choose your customer using the drop down or set up a new customer using this option. Add the invoice date and the due date will appear automatically based on your default settings. Change this if required. If you have a reference, add this here. For example, this could be the order number. This is not the invoice number, your invoice number will be assigned automatically. If the customer contact record doesn't have an address saved, add one here. You can now add item lines to your invoice. If you set up product or service records, choose from the list or start typing its name and find the item. If this product or service is not one of your saved items and you want to create a record for it, Create it now by selecting Create Item. If you select a product or service, the invoice item line will automatically populate based on your settings from the product or service. If you're not using product or service records, leave this clear and enter a description. Enter the ledger account for the item here. Then enter the quantity or hours here and the price here. If there's a discount being applied, you can specify a discount value or percentage here. If you are VAT registered, you'll see a VAT rate column here. If you are not VAT registered, this column will not appear. If applicable, select the correct VAT rate for this item line. The VAT and total will be calculated automatically. For any additional items sold, repeat this process on the next line. If you have standard notes or terms and conditions set up in document settings, these will appear here. You can edit these if required. If you would like to attach a file, such as a sales brochure, image or supporting documentation, select the attachment icon and click Upload Files. Browse to the file and click Open. To preview your invoice, click the Preview option here. This opens a preview of the PDF that's sent to your customer. Use the cross in the top right of the preview to return to the invoice. If you need to change any of your customization settings, you can access these here. With the details of your sales successfully entered, you can save your invoice and send it to your customer. You have several options when saving an invoice. You can save the invoice as a draft or a pro forma. This saves the invoice but doesn't update your customer account or ledger account. Use this option if you're not finished and want to amend it later. These will not appear in a VAT return. If you need a document to send to your customer before saving a final invoice, you'll need to create a pro forma, as a draft does not produce a document for you to send. The Save an Email option saves the invoice and sends it directly to your customer. Don't worry, you'll see a preview of the email and have the chance to edit the email before sending it. Once you've emailed this, you have the option to print a PDF copy too. The Save and Print option saves the invoice and creates a PDF version. You can print or save the PDF. You can email this to your customer later if required. Save and New will save your invoice and clear the new invoice form, allowing you to easily create your next sales invoice without leaving this screen. 
If you would like to save and finalise your invoice without printing or emailing it, simply click Save. To print or email an invoice after it's saved, within Sales Invoices, select the relevant invoice from this list. Once selected, you can see the Email, Download and Print Preview options on the panel to the right. You have now successfully created, saved and sent a sales invoice in Sage Accounting.